Hi, Lucy here. Today I have a special guest with me, my client Steve, and um, what we're going to do is I'm going to explain how his system works because he is a new owner uh, of a pool and um, doesn't know that much about how the system works and he's educated and so I want to teach him a little more. So here we are. Um, so see, all right. So um, one of the main things that kind of kept happening, remember we were talking about the valves turning? Uh -huh. So somebody, somebody had, you just get this right, you can move around. Somebody had pushed this button here. Okay, so this button, valve this button. says valves. Now it says pool, spa, um, fill, and drain. So what, and now I have this in service, so this is how I can, I can manipulate this manually. Uh -huh. So let's say somebody pushed that, all right? Now, you can see the valves are turning for the spa, which is fine if they push it one time. But what was happening is, look, see how if, if you push it another time, and this says fill. So what happens is that the spa valve shuts off, and this one opens, and so the spa, the water's going to keep going into the spa. Now, if they push it again, and this is what was happening, you get the valve turning for the spa suction, closing for the spa return, and that drains the spa, and that's what kept happening, because somebody was you know, pushing the buttons in it. I know it wasn't you because you weren't here. Okay? So okay. we want to get it back to normal, back to where the pool is. So, so, and, and I'm going to try to explain how these valves work. All right? Okay. All right. So, when you see this in the off position, this is supposed to say off. <laughs> this says off. What that really means what is now there's a, a little thing inside, like a, a, a gasket type thing. And as this turns, it shuts this off. And, and if it turns all the way here, it will open this up. So whatever way the handle is pointing is means that this part is open. So if I, if I turn this, see where the off mm -hmm. is going to be shutting off the pool. Are they ever both open? Not on the on the spa section. They really it, on, for normal pool use it shouldn't be. Okay. Because because what's happening is that the water is coming up from down here, pulling and the pump is pulling this in. So right now, if if we had this system on, the water would be pulling the uh, we'd be pulling out of the spa. Now if it's not being returned to the spa, you're going to have a, an empty spa. All right. Well, okay. under, under normal circumstances, normal use, you always have the spa suction in the off position. Okay. Spa suction. Main drain. If you look at this, the main drain is open more than the skimmer, and that's because you have an in-floor cleaning system. Okay. All right. Now these are manual, so you can turn these. But honestly, you guys shouldn't touch them. <laughs> okay. I mean, there's no reason why you should touch them. All right. Okay. So right now, the water is coming up in here pool suction this is this is blocked off because you don't want suction in the spa mm -hmm. going through here into your filter coming out of the filter all right now it's coming here going into your heater and uh, this is a this is a bonus tip for people all right <laughs> here's a bonus for for some people and this is really really important this valve here it's a bypass valve all right, now, if this was open, if we pull these things out, if this were open, all right, let's see, even there. What happens is the water comes is coming out from the filter. Now, for a heater to work, this water has to be 100% going into the heater, all right? And that's when that's shut off. If this is open, you've got some water passing, so not all the water is being forced in there, and it's coming straight out here. So in that situation, you're going to hear your heater crackling, all right? So let me, I'm going to get this full emphasis on this one. If you have the system on and, and your heater's on and you hear it crackling, um, that's the heat exchange just expanding because it's too hot. There's not enough water being going through your, your heater. So make sure that you have this bypass closed, all right? So now we're going to continue. Hopefully you're following the line of, of how the water works. So we're going 
in here, out through here, in to the heater. Okay, there's even an arrow there. Comes back out. Now, in this situation, this goes through the uh, chlorinator. Comes back down into the valves. And since you have an in-floor cleaning system, see how the spa return is off? Mm -hmm. So all the water is going back. Now, this particular configuration has two different pop-up pits. You should never have to touch this. And when, uh, when you have the spa on, of course, that's gonna be shut off and all the water is gonna be forced out the return of the spa, okay? So that's kind of it in a nutshell. <laughs> okay. All right, so questions. By now, if I would just want to use the spa in the winter time, what would I do? Just push the spa button. Spa and, button. And, and, and then the heater. Have to change any valves here? You shouldn't have to touch anything, and then just make sure that the, uh, you know, you turn the heater on and make sure the pool's primed up. Another tip is that when you're finished using uh, a spa, um, you can turn the valves off and the heater off, but leave the system running. Sometimes it's even automatically programmed so that the system's running for at least 20 minutes and that will cool your heater down because otherwise you're going to get like a warped uh, heat exchange. So you want to keep the system running for, you know, 20 minutes to cool down the heater. All right? So I keep the spa running without the heat on. Right. Yeah. Or, okay. or any, any circulation. It doesn't matter. Any you circulation. can shut the spa valves off as long as all the water still goes through the heater. Okay. You know, even when it's on the pool, it all goes through the heater. Okay. All right. Um, there is some. Oh yeah. Uh, your in you asked a question earlier about the in-floor cleaning system. Uh -huh. um, now, if you have an in-floor cleaning system, the water uh, because it goes circulates and it goes through different ports. So, like on the fifth time, it will go through the spa and spill over. So that's why you see that. Okay. Anything else? Oh, one of the things too, when you said you want to use your spa in the winter. Always make sure that after you use your spa, you set it back to the pool because the pool needs to circulate. Sometimes I go into people's homes and, and they'll have a weekend party and they'll leave it in spa the entire time and then the pool gets all funky and cloudy because it's not circulating. Okay. So, all right, anything else? Now on the, this mandarin and the skimmer, now, which, is it pulling more from the skimmer now than the mandarin? When you have it sitting like this, or more from the main drain? This one, and it, well, like, remember, just imagine it's it says off. off okay. okay. So if I have it here, what does that mean? It means it's pulling off from the main drain? Exactly, because that's off there. So if I turn it this way, what does that mean? That's half and half. There you okay. go. And. Okay, turn the skimmer off. I mean, the main drain off. Correct. Yeah. And when you have an in floor cleaning system, you want to have it pulling from the bottom a little more from the top because okay. the whole purpose is to push all that stuff down in the bottom. And then you said it's normal for the hot tub to empty into the pool during the day? Yes. Not empty, just overflowing. Too. Right, because it has to circulate. Is that, is that how it fills? Does the pool fill from the hot tub no, to add water? It, it fills from both. Oh, does it? It fills okay. from both because um, especially when, when it's on the return and, and again, this is an in-floor cleaning system. So uh -huh. the, there are different areas in your pool mm -hmm. that will push the water out and one of the areas is a spa okay but so what it's doing is it's it the entire system is sucking out of the pool and pushing back into the pool and the spa and that's why usually spas are elevated because the water will flow down now if you and that's the problem if you pull out of the spa most of the pools are not above the spa and the water can't go backwards it, like yeah. lift up because you know you've got an elevated spa all right so that's why it's really important to, to keep the spa suction off um, but the whole time is that uh, the normal pool use is that it's pulling from the skimmer in the main drain pulling out of there and going back into the pool and the spa now would you ever want the spa uh, suction on only when well, you're taking a spa only when, you, when you're what well, only when you only when you're doing a spa taking the spa going in the spa. That's the only time you want the spa section on because what what happens is when when these valves are turned, it isolates the spa. Okay. And that's how come, you know, you can heat up the spa and you don't have to worry about spending hundreds of dollars in the winter heating the pool up. So you isolate the, that small amount of water and then after that, you know, then you have to have it running normally. Um, in the winter, you can get away with, with 
not running the spa, I mean the pool, you know, um, but, uh, you know, uh, it, it's kind of complicated to explain about it uh, when you have an in-floor cleaning system and what to do with the valve. So just, okay. um, yeah, I mean, if you wanted to in the winter time, go ahead and use the spa for the weekend, the pool will be fine, you know, so you don't have to keep heating it up and spending all that money. So in the winter, if I want to use a spa, I should turn this over to cool off, use a spa, and then when I'm done, turn it back to yeah. spa suction on. Yeah, yeah, and, and it'll do it all automatically. Oh, will when I press the button? Yeah, okay. yeah, so that's the whole thing. Okay. You, guys, you guys should never have to be out here oh, okay. at all. Not, so I press the button, it'll do that automatically. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then you know about your air blower. Okay. Yeah. Anything I need to know about the filter? Uh, that's my job. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I clean that and uh, I just want to make sure you know. Oh, the other thing too you want to, just for your, your knowledge, is this is your autofill. Okay. Okay, and, and being having this open because it's parallel with, uh, with the pipes. Um, one time the autofill wasn't working by the pool, so what you want to do is you ever see the pool filling up too much, just shut these off. All right, well, I won't do it all the way because I don't have my channel locks with me, but uh, uh, anyway, shut that off and then call me. <laughs> now, if I ever want to clean my filter, I come over here to the panel and press the mode button. Okay, now you're talking about the, the this, screen. This is, this is a pump basket. B pump basket, okay, okay. So, let me show this for a second. This is called a pump basket, all right? So what he's asking is that he wants to clean this uh, because there's a lot of leaves here. So what he just uh, said, and, and let's have him do it. Let's have Steve do it. So hang on a second. I'm gonna do this in All right. The pool's in auto, and Steve wants to come out in the middle of the week, I'm not around, and he wants to uh, clean his, his basket there. All right, so you hear that the pump's on, so here. Okay. Now Steve knows how to do this. Everybody. So I come over and press the mode button. Mm -hmm. There you go. And it turned off the pump for uh, service. Right. So I can go over to the basket. Mm -hmm. And I can I'll put him to work today. Open it up. Take the basket out. And, and let me just show one thing. One, one more thing, this is like uh, so much information here. Inside of here is an impeller, and you want to put your little fingers in there and clear, clear that out. Be, oh, I just yelled in the camera. You want to clear that out um, because uh, it be it, stuck in there. Yeah, yeah, things get okay. clogged up in there a lot. So um, anyway, so go ahead. Oh, you don't have to be perfect, sorry. Okay, I'll just make sure I get it in there right. Yeah. And then he goes back. To the mode button. And I okay. press time out, and I press it one more time, and then it's back on. <laughs> operation that we need should be done inside on our, our, our switch panel. Right. We shouldn't have to come out here and touch anything unless you want to clean the bass. Right. Right. Yeah. Yep, that's it. Okay. 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 Anything else that you can think of? Okay. <laughs> Sounds right. great, thank okay. you. Well listen, uh, I want to thank Steve uh, for helping and, um, and being a great client and hope you guys learned something and we'll see you next time.